Hey, you guys. Thanks so much for waiting for me. I'm sorry I was a little late. Hi, Lindsay. Hello, Pondu. Hi, Bestie. Erin, how are you? Can you guys believe Foodie Beauty got hamsters? Hamsters. She can't take care of her cats. In fact, she abandoned her cats. Moved to another country, basically, and now she got two hamsters to put in one small cage, you guys. One small cage, a boy and a girl. She's going to have hamster babies. And what happens when she goes back to Canada? So I wanted to talk about this, you guys, and we are going to watch the vlog she just put up. Um, I think it's irresponsible of her. Like, she reminds me of that little kid who just gets an idea in their head and they have to, they have to get whatever is in their head, right? Whether they can take care of it, whether they actually need the gift or the present or whatever it is. It just reminds me of a child, like, oh my gosh, I want a hamster. A hamster is a great idea. Let me get it right now. Um, you linked the live in Discord. Thank you, Erin. Um, nope. Yeah, I don't know what she's thinking. Greeny Bluish, hello. How are you? Yeah, it makes me mad. It makes me mad. Like, she doesn't care take care of the animals she has. And um, it's just wild to me. She's going to have hamster babies. There's going to be hamster babies. A boy and a girl in one small cage. Come on. I mean, the female could already be pregnant as it is. I think hamster babies can start what breeding mating and breeding like weeks after they're born um it just sounds like a horrible idea like a horrible horrible idea hi blondie how are you congratulations on getting your community post that's so cool um blondie got her community tab you guys so if you want to um go leave her a message i know she was really excited about it oh my gosh hold on one second please let me mute this my mom is here. She just made the weirdest noise. Hold on, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. For some reason, this is twice now. My mom comes over and like, we see each other like all day, every day. <laughs> but this is the second time. One time she stopped by when I was doing a live. And the second she walked in the house, she was like, oh, ah, and like making these noises. <laughs> and then right now she was, I guess she was drinking something. And she started, she was like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> Okay, sorry, real life happening right now. Let me read these comments. Um, yeah, she got two hamsters from what I understand and from what I've seen on Twitter, a boy and a girl. It's a really small cage. I think there's only one wheel and um, that's not gonna work. Like hamsters like to burrow, hide, play. They need stimulation. Like one wheel, two hamsters is not gonna work. It's just not, they're gonna end up fighting. Um, oh, Pix is leaving by Pix. Hi, Goblin God, how are you? Um, wake up, Maggie said, st 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 statistically speaking, hamsters are some of the most abused pets. People get them without any knowledge of how to care for them. Yeah, yeah. People think you could just throw a hamster in a cage and all is well. Like, no. And, you know, there's certain bedding that they have to have. I know people get the wrong bedding. I think people get like cedar and pine and it's not good for them. Um, like the wire cages aren't good for them at all for their little feet. Like, it's best to have, um, you know, like an aquarium, like the glass enclosures that you would put like a bearded dragon or whatever. And like you get one of those big ones and you fill it up with the correct bedding and it's deep enough so the hamsters can like burrow and hide. Um, gosh, over a year ago now, I actually had a hamster. Me and my daughter did. Um, it was over, gosh, yeah, a year ago, year and a half. Um, and temporarily, we we didn't even mean to get this hamster, okay? I was buying crickets and mealworms at, it was either Petco or Petsmart. I get them confused because they look exactly the same. 
And we happened to walk by and I saw the fattest, cutest hamster in the world. And my daughter started begging for it. And I thought it was cute too. So we got the hamster. It lived, you know, a good life for a hamster. It did unfortunately pass away not that long ago. Um, but in the beginning, just to have a cage, we got this like pink castle looking house. But eventually she did get an enclosure with a tank. I guess it's a tank if you want to call it. Um, I know, not sunshine. It's it's insane. She doesn't need any pets. She doesn't take care of the ones she has. She could barely take care of herself. It's not a pet that you just throw in a cage and wish it well. You know, not that you should do that anyways, but I think that's what's in her head. Like, it's not going to take much care. She needs to just feed them once a week. I think that's what's in her head. Um, yeah, the cage is too small, Nancy. It is. Her response to her being surprised that they mate was insane to me. Oh, gosh, is that going to be in the vlog? Um, let's see. Oh no, not the castle. Glad you got a tank. Yeah. Temporarily we did like, I needed to put it in something. Like I wasn't going to keep it in the Petsmo, Petsmo, Petsmart or Petco, whatever place it was, the little cardboard tank, you know, so we needed a temporary enclosure. So I did have that castle one for a while, but you guys, the hamster escaped out of that. I don't even know how many times in the short amount of time it was in that enclosure. Eventually it did get the glass enclosure, but it's just, I don't think she's thinking. She's not thinking. She doesn't need a pet, Laura. No, she doesn't. Um, I had a Russian dwarf hamster, which didn't live long at all. Yeah, they have really short lives. Hamsters are so cute, but it's, yeah, it's not a cat foodie. Exactly, Blondie. Gee, she got two hamsters. Um, I believe the dwarf hamsters, from what I saw on Twitter, um, I believe that she got the hamsters in her warped mind because she's leaving soon and wants other females to see Sala is married. Weird AF, that is weird, but it wouldn't surprise me. Um, Poggy said, yeah, that's why I said, oh, no, not the castle. The enclosures aren't made with the hamsters in mind, unfortunately. Yes, the best enclosures are plastic tubs or glass aquariums. Yes, the only part I kept from that castle enclosure was like the tubes. Because hamsters love tubes and like they like to, they have so much fun. So I kept the plastic tubes and then we put it like down towards the bottom of the glass enclosure. But that hamster escaped out of every single part of that, that castle cage. It's just, <laughs> Booty's either going to lose them, sit on them, or I don't know. Like she really didn't think this through at all. One time you guys, okay, so the hamster's name was Sugar, but we never called her Sugar. We called her Hammy. Um, one time she escaped and I was in the restroom. I think I shared this on a live stream like a long time ago and it was in the middle of the night. I didn't turn the light on because like I didn't want to be blinded by the light. And I remember as soon as I stepped into the bathroom and sat down, something bit my toe so flipping hard. I screamed so loud and I turned on the light. It was the hamster. Um, hey, John, good to see you. You made a live stream. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Dreamy, I think she's just doing it to make people angry, too. Skinny from the back said she can't clean herself, much less a hamster cage. Exactly. No, Amanda Dawn, I didn't get a hamster, no. Oh, no, T, my on-the-wire cage got stuck in the bottom bedding. Oh, no. Poor hamster. Yeah, Granny Bluish, you always need to research any pet you're going to get. I'm hoping for a rescue cat in the new year. Oh, I hope you find, I hope you and your rescue cat find each other soon. Hey, Jamie, how are you? Um, Poggy said, I got really into hamster care at the beginning of the pandemic. All Chantal needed to do was type in hamster care 101 into YouTube, which she's on all day. Yeah, she could have learned. Um, Nat B from Canada said she says she will get a bigger cage, but they don't have the room. She is full of it. She is full of it. All right. Are you guys ready to check this out? Um, let's see. Let me share the screen. Oh, wait, what did I just do? Hold on. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. Let's do this. Oh, I see foodie's got one. Sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. No, I'm not getting another hamster anytime soon. I'm not. Um, it's just not the right timing. And I don't know. I, I think I'm okay right now. I used to have like a ton, a ton of animals. And now that like, I don't, I'm realizing like, I loved having so many animals before. I loved it. Like I love 
taking care of animals. I love rescuing animals. I'm all about it. But right now with everything going on in my life, it is not the right timing for any more pets. And I could be full on honest about that. Um, booty killer, why can you be nasty to people and have an opinion, but they can't have one of you? People can have an opinion on me. I think I know what you're referring to. There's a difference between Okay, I react to Foodie. I don't make fun of deaths in her family or I don't make fun of anything like that. There's a difference between reacting to somebody and lying about them, lying about their personal life like you know something and making fun of family members' deaths. Anybody can react to me. I don't care if people react to me. I care when they lie. I care when they talk about my daughter every single live stream and they're a grown man. Um, and I care that they make fun of elderly people falling and passing away. That's all. Anybody can react to me. I don't care. Like, I'm fair game, but don't talk about an underage child so much and that every time you're live, you're talking about a 10-year-old. Like, it makes me wonder about you, you know? All right, let's go ahead <laughs> and react to Foodie. Uh, all right, you guys, are you ready? Are you ready? I don't even know if I'm ready since it's just me on an avatar, I'm gonna make myself small. Hi, Nightmare, I um, DM'd you back. Taylor, she said they didn't get them to breed. They will have sex for pleasure. Oh gosh, do I really wanna watch this? I'm scared. Okay, hi, Cor, how are you? Oh gosh, I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Wait. So she did research after she got the hamsters and made this video. Things I learned about hamsters after we made this video. They need a chew toy for teeth filing. They run a lot in the wild and need a wheel for running. Yes, and if you're going to have two of them, they both need a wheel. So they're not fighting. They only need a bit of food. You scare me with that foodie. I think you're going to think you don't have to feed them at all. They drink a lot of water. Yes, people, animals, everybody drinks a lot of water, foodie. <laughs> Always have fresh water handy. They are burrowers. Yes, that's why you should get a tank like or um, one of those plastic bins. I know a lot of people do. Um, they need to be able to burrow. They need stimulation and toys. Yes, they are tunnelers. They can eat small amounts of apple, cucumber, cooked egg, and more. Well, I'm so happy you got them first and then did research after, Foodie. Wow. Okay. Did she name the girl Hamster Breezy? Oh, my gosh. If she did, I'm going to laugh. I still feel bad for that hamster, but oh, my gosh. What if she did? She's showing us how to use the cage for the hamster. Hi. Hello. So cute, huh? Yes. Hello, hamster. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm talking away and I didn't even know I was muted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So already, I don't like the hamster cage one bit. I don't like the setup. This is how they get injured, Those those that wiring right there. Um, the cedar and the pine bedding is really bad for them. And if Solid doesn't know by now, he's going to learn at some point today. You don't stick your finger up all, it, like, all up in their face or through those wires. Like your finger's going to get chomped on. Um, she only thought the cage was too small after everyone pointed it out. Yeah, that's what scares me, Emily. I'm sorry, Mary. I totally forgot I was muted or I'm not even sure I knew I muted myself. <laughs> but I already don't like this pet store one bit. It seems like one of those pet stores, we all, we've all seen them, where they just cram as many animals in as possible to make those sales and they don't care about the animals. Um, there was one I keep reporting it's not too far from me and nothing is done about it. But 
you guys, like, I know there's so many animals lover lovers in here, so I'm not going to share exact details, but I've gone in there before and like, I'll just go to check it out. And I do report it because it's bad. There's animals like flipped on their back. There's animals without food and water, like horrible conditions. And I'm not sure what else to do. Like if anybody is an animal activist in here or anything or knows like what I can do about this certain pet store I'm thinking of, let me know. But this is what that pet store reminds me of. Um, I hope they get bitten. Oh, they will. Sala will learn today. You don't stick your big old finger towards their faces. Um, a proven track record for uncleanliness and she gets two pets. I know, Cor. Um... Daisy Duke said, what adult buys hamsters? Mostly kids want them. You know what? I love hamsters. I'm not even going to lie. Like when I got my daughter a hamster, it was basically for both of us. Like <laughs> she really wanted it, but I was like, I want it too. Like it was really cute. Um, if I had a child, would I have a hamster again? Probably. If I didn't have a child, would I have a hamster? Probably not. But that's the one cool thing about having kids. Like when you, when they want something and you kind of want it too, you're like, well, it's for the kids, you know? <laughs> Um, they'll, I know, Shlomo, like, I feel so bad for them. Yeah, but I have a child, Taylor, exactly. SPCA, inform them. I have, but maybe, like, I don't know. I'm going to have to take pictures or something and bring more awareness. It's bad. Like, that pet store is so bad, and I don't know how it's still able to operate. I don't. All right, let's hit play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so too small. Sex, hamsters will fight quite a bit and sometimes even to the death. So we got a male and a female. It is possible oh my gosh. they will have babies in the future, but they will be well cared for. By who? To homes. Well cared for by who? You're leaving back to Canada soon. We don't know enough about Sala. Like, I'm sorry, well cared for by who? You can't take care of two cats. Two cats. How are you going to take care of two hamsters? Hamsters are not like cats at all. I know, G, this is crazy. There was so many in that same cage, Mary. This is so bad. No, I wish it was a dream. This is crazy, Sherry. She really got hamsters. I know, G. Um, I know she'll hate this backlash. She'll, she'll probably lie and say she gave them to friends' kids, probably. Oh, nightmare. Guinea pigs are so fun. I'm glad you're rescuing them. That's amazing. I know, Blondie, no fever dream. Sherry, this is bad. Are you serious? I didn't watch Jenna Marbles, I, but I'll have to watch the hamster video. I want to see the hamster mansion. Okay, yeah, this cage is too smine, sminey, tiny, way too tiny. They're gonna fight. The gray male, the brown female. So cute together. Yeah. I don't like this at all. Stop with your fingers. <laughs> Hootie, I'm not even trying to be mean, but actually kind of a little bit. Stop sticking your sausage fingers at the hamsters because you're going to get bit and then you're going to blame the hamster. And then you'll say you have to get rid of them because the hamsters bite or something. I don't know. But stop sticking your big old fingers at them. And these hamsters are going to get, oh my gosh, this is so sad. That space is too tiny. I could see transporting the hamsters, like if you're taking them to the vet or taking them home from the place to put in their bigger enclosure. Okay, I get it temporarily, but she th thought it was okay for them to live in this. Oh my gosh. It is too small, Mary. This is, <sighs> and then she said they live two to three years. Not with her, they won't. Nope. Thank you for Sherry. You're welcome, bees. See? No, no, no. What do you mean, no? They're going to love each other. Hamster bees. <laughs> Look welcome at that place. <laughs> Aww. 
Yeah, we'll get him some water when we get home. First time in their new home. Does anybody else have this feeling like, I don't want to watch any more of this because I don't want to get attached to them because I already know something's going to happen? Or is it just me? I'm like, they are so cute, but like, I can't get attached to them because <laughs> uh, they are stressed out. That's why they were already going back and forth. Um, Stinky said she's an absolutely terrible person. I know, I know. Goblin, I think he's in love with himself in that one outfit. Like, he really loves that outfit. She made food for her hamsters, Amanda Dawn. I'll have to check it out. Okay, you guys feel the same way too. I'm like, I have this feeling where I'm like, okay, we're going to watch it together, but I really wish I wasn't watching it because I'm going to get attached to these two. <laughs> and it's going to suck. It's going to suck. Poggy, I will. Oh, no. Oh gosh, come on, they're hamster, stop it. Poor hamsters. I think they start to love each other. I think so. He, he looks like he's making a nice comfortable spot for her. No, he looks like he's stressed out. He looks stressed out and he looks like he's trying to find a place to hide, but there's nowhere to hide in that tiny, I'm sorry, I'm going to cuss. There's nowhere to hide in that tiny ass cage. He looks stressed out. Maybe he needs a wheel too. Like two hamsters and one wheel are not going to work. Oh my gosh. Poggy said, I recommend Munchie here on YouTube. She runs a hamster rescue. Oh, I'll have to check her out. I used to be big into watching pet tube and then this whole thing happened with taylor and nicole dean and then like i got so turned off from watching pet tube anymore um yeah that wheel's too small erin agree selfish selfish exactly um wheels too small cage too small this isn't good it's so sad she's like oh he's playing no he looks stressed the f out and he's trying to find a place to hide from your big old sausage fingers or maybe they are making a nest for the babies, but if they're gonna, how are they supposed to nest? Like, how are they, oh my gosh. She, exactly, Emily. She splurges for on herself. She splurges for her fake husband. Like, buy a better cage. We know you can afford it. Come on. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> He's making a home. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad for that one. He's just circling, trying to find a place to hide. I think you need more options than just that. What even was that food? It looks like bird seed almost. Huh. Aaron, I didn't even think of that. Do you know when you have hamsters how often you have to clean the cages? It's going to stink and that place has no windows, you guys. I didn't even think of that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's going to overfeed and understimulate. Exactly, Chris. Um, that cage is gonna, it is Aaron. It's gonna smell so bad. There's no windows, no windows and no doors. Isn't that on the haunted mansion or something? <laughs> I don't know. I still don't feel good, you guys. So my, I'm a little weird today. Okay. The male is eating. The female is playing. I know, Mary. <laughs> She's like, give me food. He takes the whole food. Oh my God. 
Look at this. <laughs> Check it out. This is sad. Hello. Just give her a chance to eat. Do you guys hear my dog snoring right now? <laughs> Sorry. You should go back to play. Guys, we named our hamsters Harry and Mary Samsonite from Harry our favorite movie. You guys know. Oh my Don't roll gosh. Your eyes, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Harry. Mary. Why, thank you, Sarah. Mary is eating. Mary is playing. And they are so cute, Cabal. Hey, hey Harry, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> Eat more, eat. Yeah, eat more, eat. But <laughs> that's so unhealthy because he's he's basically going to eat everything because he has nothing else to do in that cage. The other hamster's taken over the wheel, which fine, like live your best life. But now he's going to overeat, have no stimulation. Like this is so depressing. It's so sad. I know the way the hamster's back bends to be able to run in that. Yeah, Sarah Jane, Dumb and Dumber, perfect fit, exactly. Did he ever buy, or did he buy her these for coming home so late? He was caught. He probably was caught. Mm -hmm. I hope they bite her too. Now it said, eat more, eat. That's what he tells Chantal. I'm sure it is. She's tired, maybe. Mary, Mary, enough. Enough playing. Go drink some water or eat some food. Or eat some food. Always pushing that food eating. Sheesh. He's so cute when he's eating. Is this some weird kind of feeder content they're trying? I'm sorry, but this is getting weird. It's so cute when they're eating. Eat more. Eat. Like, what the heck is going on? Like, leave these hamsters alone. This got weird. This is weird. Weird. Oh, it's her turn. I know. He's trying to hide in the food bowl. I don't even know if he was really eating. Why do they sit in the whole dish to eat? That would be like us sitting on our plate of spaghetti or something. <laughs> Hello. Do you want to pet? Can I pet you? So Sala's going to go to the grocery store and get some groceries. Uh -huh. And we're going to get the hamsters some lettuce and some apples and some carrots because they'll find that really tasty. Thank you, T. Did you tire yourself out? Mary? That's okay if you think that, Brandy, but... This is the food we have for them now. That's not, we will oh also my gosh. Supplement with fresh fruits and vegetables. So it's just pellets and corn? <laughs> Did you guys see anything actually like dried fruits or whatever? Like I just see pellets and corn. Wow. They need more than just that. Take care of Mary. It's crap, Chris. It is. I love their hands and their feet. <laughs> is he climbing very well? Because he has nothing else yes, to do. Beezer, Harry. <laughs> Simply me, it makes me sad too. Beezer, Mary. <laughs> Are you beating? Aw. That's so sad. He's trying to eat his way out. Okay, what does this say? Just had a piece of cucumber. Hold on, it says, I learned that I gave them too much, so I gave them a piece each and removed the rest. Hamsters apparently cannot be trusted to regulate their own food intake and can gain weight easily. Are you talking about the hamster or you, foodie? He's enjoying the fresh cucumber. Toodles, the and cage is awful. We have low light for them because hamsters are nocturnal and they don't, also just like a lot of light from what i've researched so we try to keep it dim and then we're going to put them in a little corner so they have privacy a corner so they have privacy <laughs> mary is not happy that harry stole her wheel <laughs> oh no no this is so and funny I'm for it <laughs> this is so funny <laughs> Wow. That's funny to you? Oh my gosh. That's Mary's wheel, I guess. 
Yeah, so you got to get your other one a wheel, too. You need to share, Mary. Taylor. <laughs> exactly, Jenny Jen. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Brandy, can she bring hamsters hey, back? I don't think so. <laughs> I know. Don't worry, they aren't actually fighting. Yes, they are. And then it says hamster tails to be continued. I don't want to watch again. I don't want to get attached to them. They're cute. Like, I feel like they're, we, we can't get attached to these hamsters, you guys. We got attached to the cats and look what happened. Um, exactly, wake up, Maggie. It's not effing funny when one of them decides to kill the other over the wheel. Exactly. Bunny, I can't stand them either. Oh, my gosh. What are the chances Chantel would listen to a kindly written message full of helpful information on how to properly care for them? Maybe we need to make a stream teaching her because we know she stays watching the reaction channels and she has no idea what the heck she's doing. At all. At all. Um, yeah, Chris, this is the drama I don't like. It's sad. It is sad. I didn't find any of that funny whatsoever. Like, oh, no. Um not the hamsters foodie and salad truth be told um i think you're missing the part where i chose my daughter over alcohol and i gave up drinking and i have five years sober today um i wish that i didn't have a drinking problem and i wish things didn't happen the way they did but um, me and my daughter have a bond like no other today and um you know, if the judge saw fit for me to have my daughter back and said that he knew I loved my daughter enough to go get help um, and admit I had a problem, like, that's good enough for me. So your opinion truly doesn't matter. Um, I'm sorry you're having clearly a bad day. Yeah, Danielle. I mean, she laughs when Sam attacks BBJ, so of course this is funny to her true. Um Truth be told, gets a block, no chances. Thank you, T. Thank you, Nat B. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, trolls are out in the wild. The trolls are just, they come out of nowhere these days. <laughs> like, I've always had people that hated me, but, like, lately, like, oh, my gosh. It's, like, the cool thing to troll Breezy, but <laughs> I don't think they realize, like, I, I'm... I'm good with my life and like I, I'm okay with the mistakes I made because my daughter forgives me and um, you know I, every day I do I try to be a little bit better than the day before so like I'm good um, thank you Elizu and thank you yeah good job mods the mods are on top of it thank you Shabana yeah I I'm different now. The past is the past and it's always going to haunt me. Like there's not going to be a day that goes by where I don't have to hear about it somehow, but like I've changed a lot. So I'm pretty proud of me these days. <laughs> Autumn, Foodie Beauty and Sala got two hamsters, a boy and a girl, Harry and Mary, and basically assigned them to prison and life with this like prison for life in prison. You know what I mean? Like for with this tiny, tiny, it's supposed to be like a transportation cage, like transporting the animal to its new cage, transporting the animal to the vet, transporting the animal because <laughs> we're going on vacation and we want to bring the animal to. I don't know, but it's not to live in. Um, no trolling. Oh, thank you. Um, Taylor said the trolls are breeding like these hamsters fixing to do exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat, T. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. T sent me a super chat. Woohoo! Thank you so much. They are breeding and fasting. Um, thank you, Lisa. Breezy's past is actually in the past, not last month. Exactly. It's a whole five years ago. It wasn't a month ago. It wasn't six months ago. It was five years ago. So, um, I think I've changed a lot. Am I perfect? No. Do I make mistakes? Of course, but... <sighs> All right, let's see. Booty killer, that wasn't an opinion. <laughs> Thank you, T. Exactly, Aaron. Booty killer, people can have opinions, just not disrespectful comments. Exactly. Um, Kay said, you're incredibly impressive. I've known many folks with addiction issues who have had and not made changes. What you've accomplished and strived to every day is 100. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Booty killer, nobody cares. Like, I think you think that you're upsetting me and like, I don't care. 
I've admitted that I felt hypocritical before. I've admitted that I was a hypocrite when it came to certain things with Chantal, but I also didn't know I was being played the whole time I was judging her for being played. So <laughs> it's okay, Marie. We already watched it, Marie. Um, people, well, let's see, people need to stop making fun of addictions. Exactly. You know what? The people who are making fun of it one day are going to be affected by it somehow somehow. And I've seen that. I've had people judge um, judge me so harshly and come back to me years later like, I'm sorry for what I said to you because now my significant other has an addiction problem. Now my child has an addiction problem and they ask me for advice. So everybody that's judging me right now, I'll be here for you when you're affected by addiction and you need somebody to listen or you need advice. Um, and usually people who judge sober people so harshly, it's because they want to be sober themselves. Like they have a problem going on themselves. So yeah, karma, the cage was way too small, way too small. Elizu Pandu said, I know Canadian customs and security can be tough. Would the hamsters even be allowed if she, I don't know. Um, T, thanks for always having my back. You're awesome. I doubt she'll, I, yeah, she'll probably leave them. Karma, I hope they're not going to cook them. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. Oh, the cats would get them. She better not bring them to Canada. No. Especially in those kind of cages, too. They break out. I don't know how, but they do. So thank you so much for the super sticker, Moxie. I got a super sticker. I got a super sticker. Sticker. <laughs> Moxie sent me a super sticker. Woohoo! Thank you so much. I'm on StreamYard, so I can't see it, but I'm going to go to YouTube right now. Um, on my phone so I can see. Super sticker. Oh gosh. Does anybody else like, I cannot stand myself. When I... Oh, it's so cute, Moxie. Thank you. <laughs> like when I hear my voice on, um, when I just clicked, I'm like, oh gosh. Um, all right, let's see. Thank you, Moxie. That was adorable. Thank you, Chris. Yes, proud of you, lady. You're vulnerable and honest, authentic. Thank you so much. Um, oh, it's okay, Blondie. It's okay. So we might be able to do another like um, live stream later today if anybody uploads that we want to react to. Because um, this actually, since I'm sick, works out better for me instead of making a bunch of different videos. Like I, we could just talk and hang out like all at once. <laughs> oh, T. Oh, my gosh. I cannot stand hearing my own voice. <laughs> I can't. So I get it sometimes when people are like, your voice is annoying. I'm like, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> when I hear myself, yeah, I would be annoyed at me too. <laughs> Read the video comments after, please. Oh, okay. Let's go to them really fast. Um, hopefully I'm still sharing the screen. Um, hold on. Okay, let me... I wanted to make sure. Oh, hey, Dana. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to the comments. Can you guys see? All right, I have to keep going back and forth between. Um, let me somehow get me off of here and see if that makes a difference. Um, Kippy, you are snoring so loud. You are snoring so loud. Okay, so Bob Cake said, this is horrible. Those poor animals. This is so hard to see breaking my heart. The whole thing was, the whole situation was awful. The pet store, way too animals crammed in. I bet you those store owners know nothing about all those different types of animals they have and what they properly need. Um, the cage is awful. It's like life in prison for those animals. Like, it's sad. I feel bad that they're going to keep having sausage fingers poking at their head. Um, Patty said, cute names. Love your couple's channel. Wishing you lifelong happiness. I mean, the names are okay. I mean, if she's going to make a big point to call people hamsters, she may as well name them breezy and perfectly imperfect. <laughs> but <laughs> she may as well have. Um, Midori Torres said, can't wait for the stream. Hamsters are bullying me and biting me because they are jealous and fat phobic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are they named BBJ and Sam? No, Harry and Mary. Harry and Mary. Oh, you can't see? Aaron, you can't see it still? Let me see if, um, I'm sorry. Well, I'm reading them at least. Okay, so sister, 
sophistry said, you are so gross. You always have been, but this is beyond it now. Selfish, selfish, selfish. This is just for views or you would have researched. Jesus got time to Google your own name five times a day, but not time to Google what most 10-year-olds could tell you. Disgusting. Habibi said, hey, you need to separate them ASAP. Maybe rename the male one to Joseph also? Um, her reply was, we will separate them. I doubt it. Okay, so JJ said, I can only hope that you're going to get them a much bigger cage. That cage is not acceptable. Hamsters need a deep cage that's filled with bedding so they can burrow. Exactly. Let's look at her reply. We will. That's it. Just we will. She doesn't care. Um, Elmo said, how long until these critters bite her? She put LOL. Carrie said, Harry and Mary are so cute and don't listen to people nagging you. Hamsters shouldn't even be in cages in the first place. I don't know why they are whining about you doing it, LMAO. That's also why they make awesome rolling balls for them too. The hamsters that are being re rehabilitated. Let's see what she said. Yes, ideally they should be wild, but all domesticated animals probably should. I don't know, LOL. And then she wrote, when we bought them, they were all in the same cage together. That's horrible. And that doesn't make it okay, foodie. Um, Wheelie Mom said, they are both male. They will kill each other. She replied, one is a male and one is female. If they both male, why would they kill each other right away? Uh, Wheelie Mom replied, no, they are not mature. They are more tolerant until they are sexually mature. You can see the back ends are both sticking out, i.e. male. Google how to sex hamsters and how to keep Syrian hamsters. I used to take unwanted hamsters. They are both male. Um, and then Wheelie Mom also put, please take one back to the pet shop or both. Chantal is going back to Canada soon and within the lifetime of these hamsters, please consider their welfare more. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to read. I'm going to read the chat really fast. They literally have no room. They don't. There's no room. Hi, Delta. How are you? Hi, Michelle. Chris React said, I hope she reads, but re considering how she never listened to people about her cats, I wonder how she will be with these hamsters. Exactly. I don't think this is going to go well. Like I said, I'm not getting attached. I'm not getting attached. Um, Delta said, her thinking hamsters have sex for recreation. She's weird and she's sick. Like there's something not right. I'm sorry, like I have to say it, I'm not trying to be mean, but the comments about how they can have sex for fun and everything, like it's weird, like calm down, <laughs> you know? Um, Nat said that makes it a very irresponsible pet shop, but not surprised, right? These pet shops that have a million different breeds of things, all different species, all different types of things in one pet shop, there's no way they know everything about every single animal and how to care for them. Like, it's just wild to me. I don't think he will care for them, Chris. I don't see. He, do we really think he's going to stop looking at himself in the mirror long enough to take care of hamsters? Like, all he does is IF himself all day. He's not going to take care of hamsters. They do poggy. Male and females also kill each other. Exactly. She said the hamsters were lovers. It was weird and sick. The whole thing is weird. I don't know. They're weird. Um... <laughs> cottage cheese probably i mean if he finds uh you know he really has i don't know i'm i just i'm not gonna comment anymore i think he does <laughs> chantelle is beyond obsessed with sex and it just exactly danielle it shows how stunted she is yes um probably dervish mm -hmm. uh brandy said my hamster is a turd bird he runs around tormenting my cat and bumping into her butt when he's in his rolly ball trying to play, but you have to be mindful the little toes don't get stuck. Yeah. Um, Tom, Chow Mein said, the hamsters are to distract her from him, probably. Her mentality is fascinating. It's something else. I hope not, Virgie, but I don't see it going well for these hamsters. I just don't. Um, and it's going to stink, that tiny cage. We know she doesn't even clean after herself. Like, she's going to clean a hamster's cage. And it's not fun cleaning a hamster's cage. It's it's not fun. I don't see her doing it. Um, I don't see her doing it at all. 
All right, you guys, let's read a few more comments and then I will be back um, a little bit later, probably in a few hours. Okay, let's see. Um, you Dumb B said, as everyone has already stated, Syrian hamsters are, are solitary animals. They go together only to breed. I see no reason why you would want up to, do, up to a dozen babies every three to six weeks. Let's read that again. I see no reason why you would want to up to a dozen babies every three to six weeks. They are not playing. They are attempting to show dominance because the cage is not nearly big enough for two hamsters. It's not even sufficient for one. Do not be surprised if you wake up and find that one of them has been killed and maimed because it's more likely than not to happen. Oh my gosh, Foodie doesn't think of these things. Um, someone said, for F sakes, hamsters are not people. They don't need to mate to live fulfilled lives. They're going to rip each other apart unless you separate them. Exactly. It's me, Chelsea B said, that cage is too small. They need more bedding to burrow, and also, why would you put a male and female together? Also, if you just had to get two, you should have gotten a bigger cage and two of everything. Two wheels, two bowls, two water bottles. They also need Heidi's. Irresponsible idiots do research first. Exactly. I'm going to like that. Um... Susie Q said, you two crack me up. Those hamsters are adorable. Did you know they spend all their time trying to escape? Make sure you lock that cage every time. It doesn't matter if you lock the cage. They will escape. They will. And then uh, Foodie replied, hi, Susie. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks. Um, oh, hey, Melissa. How are you? Hello. Yeah, Delta. It, it costs money. It costs money to keep refilling the bedding. Um to clean up properly everything. Like, I don't think she's thinking of all this. I think he will too, Delta. Mm -hmm. Sala will be dumping those hamsters the second she's at the airport. That's what I think too. Um, Hardworking diva, I know, why? Why? When she's going back to Canada, why? It's just, it's weird. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, This was wild. So, oh, we have two announcements. Um. Tomorrow, we are doing a really fun Foodie Beauty Missy Moo parody panel where fake Foodie Beauty and fake Missy Moo are going to be on and you can ask them questions. So that's going to probably be around 3 p.m. tomorrow. Um, my time Pacific um, Eastern would be, what, 6 o'clock p.m.? And so we're going to do that. And I can't remember... The live stream I told you guys to comment on <laughs> to be entered into the Brighton Earring Giveaway. So make sure tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the stream to comment on. And New Year's Day, we're going to pick a winner. There are these really pretty ladybug Brighton earrings. And it comes with like a really pretty Brighton bag. Um, so make sure you comment on the live stream tomorrow. Comment whatever you want. Comment how many times you want. Um, and you will be entered into the giveaway. So um Make sure you're here for the live stream tomorrow if you want to ask Foodie and Missy Moo any questions. Remember, it's just for fun. You can ask the harder questions too if you want, but it's just for fun. We're not sending any hate to anybody. It's just going to be a fun time. Um, so that will be at 3 p.m. tomorrow. And like I said, make sure you comment on the live stream so you could be entered into in the earrings. If you don't wear earrings, you don't like earrings, it's okay. You could still enter in. Like if you have a daughter whoever, son, grandparent, it doesn't matter. Whoever likes to wear earrings in your family, you could still um, enter and give it to them. That's fine. Or as a present, you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you guys at some point again today and definitely tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Thank you, everybody.